Hi guys, um, here we are on the, the 11th Hot People's Golf Club today and what we're going to discuss is chipping, so pitching, sorry, so how we're, pitching is one of the most important aspects of of golf. So what tends to happen, the common mistakes with a pitch shot, a pitch shot is a shot that has maximum air time, minimum roll time. What I see when people hit a pitch shot is they try and force the ball up in the air, so they scoop it, they cast it, they try and use a wrist more than their body. So what we want with a what we want with a pitch shot is we want to hit down on the golf ball so we can hit the ball up in the air. So from this position, um, I've got about a 40 yard shot. So what I'm trying to do from here is I'm trying to hit it maybe about 35 yards. But anyway, back to the concept of hitting shots fat. Um, I, I use a, a basic technique that sort of eliminates that um, casting shot or the fin. So what I do is, I, I, need, I understand the concept of, I need to hit down on the ball, so the ball, the ball projects up the club face and gets a little bit of a higher trajectory. So the ball spins off the club face and it then goes up in the air. So what a lot of people don't understand is we need to hit down to hit the, the ball up in the air. So the main part of the body that creates this downward arc is the, the hinging of the wrist. So the left wrist hinges and then the right wrist rolls. So it's called a hinge and roll action. So what I mean by a hinge and roll action is we take the club back. We should look at the back of my left wrist. So what happens is when I take the club back, my, my left wrist should hinge 90 degrees or it should make a 90 degree angle between the left wrist and club shaft. What a lot of people do is when they take the club back, they hinge the right wrist. But what happens when they hinge, hinge the right wrist, it shortens the swing arc, so you're, the club's bottoming out here, and you can lose the, it could sacrifice a lot of distance and strike effectively, because you're breaking, you're losing separation. But anyway, as I take the club back, my left wrist hinges, creates a 90 degree angle between the club shaft and the left wrist, and as I come back down, that creates that downward angle, so from this action. So, I'm not trying to scoop it, I'm trying to hinge my left wrist, so, go back. Uh, so, do you see, it didn't take much of a divot there, quite shallow. I know we're trying to get it quite steep, but I'm generally quite shallow. But if you get into that position, then, if you get into that position of hinging the, the left wrist, we need to focus on this right wrist now. So, the right wrist, as we take her back, if we get in that correct position, this should be, this should act as a, a decoy, so the right wrist should be able to roll over on the downswing. So if we hinge the left wrist and we get into a good position, the right wrist should just follow that on the downswing. So get to that position, right wrist should roll over and we should create that downward steep angle of attack into impact. And this will create a lot of spin. So from and another tip to work on is put a little bit of pressure so this back hand, so your true hand, right handed if you're right handed and left if you're left handed. We need to put a little bit of pressure on the back of that pad, or the back of our hand, or the, the, the palm of our hand. So put a little bit of pressure on it. So feel like the club has been pushed down by our right hand into the ground. So hinge the club and then push down my right hand. So that's a quick video of the hinge and roll technique. This is for. A, the higher handicap golfers, what I'm trying to advocate is if you hinge the right, left wrist correctly, so we're not focusing on about the, this right wrist, we're trying to focus on the left wrist. So we want to hinge the left wrist and then the right wrist should roll over if that's in the correct position. You'll create, create the correct downward angle of attack, you'll create spin and you'll get the ball projecting more up in the air and you'll be able to stop your wedges more consistently. So that's just a quick video on the correct pitching technique that I use to try and improve your game. If you've got any thoughts on the video, eh, post a comment in the comment box below or subscribe to my channel at Jamie Allen Golf. It's free subscription or follow me on two social media platforms at Jamie Allen Golf and Jamie Allen Golf. Thank you.